Are we live? Okay. <laughs> hey guys, hope everybody's having a good Saturday morning. A little brisk out here in the desert, but uh, oh, am I talking too loud? Yeah, yeah there's kind of an echo in here. Huh? Don't shout. Don't shout. I don't, you don't shout. I know, I know. Anyway, um, welcome to our live training session. Uh, yes, I'll modulate down right. on uh, on Saturday. So we've got a couple things to share with you first. We'll do this little intro thing. Then I'm gonna get. I'm gonna actually do my part first, and then Dad will wrap up after that. Then we'll do a, a Q and A at the end, 20, 30 minutes. Remember, guys, that we can only do 30 minute broadcasts at a time. So at the 30 minute mark, uh, <coughs> we'll we'll let you know, and then you'll have to uh, come back in <coughs> to it. We'll we'll shut it down. We'll get actually cut off. And we'll shut it down and then uh, come back in for the second broadcast and we'll start broadcasting the second one right away. A um, uh, couple things. Uh, first, Vic wants to say something. Thank you for all the comments on the video yesterday, guys. On I the, get nervous. On the, <laughs> Eric's not a good director. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and I, well, no, no, you know what, I won't excuse even, the coughing, I got a little cold. I won't even, uh, I won't even comment on uh, your ability to mm. be directed. Anyway. Are you not taking vitamin C? <coughs> <coughs> yes, I am. I'm taking all kinds of vitamins. Okay, so, uh, second thing is, uh, on the uh, possible upcoming <laughs> seminar in Vegas, uh, October September, October, November-ish. It seems like it's uh, seems like it's going to happen. Yeah, we're, like we're we're still not sure, but we're getting a lot of interest. But again, if you haven't if you haven't chimed in, let me know. Uh, write me an email or somehow let us know that you want to be on the somewhat in interested list, so we can kind of gauge how many people uh, may come. So we'll have hopefully within a week we'll have uh, made up. Uh, uh, made up our mind whether it's going to make it worthwhile or not and whether it's really going to happen, which will give you guys lots of time. If it's going to happen within a week, probably two weeks. <laughs> yeah. A week a week goes by pretty fast, but we're still in the Faster planning for stage. him than it does for me. Yeah, we're still in the planning stages, and, and we have to talk to some people in Vegas and, and try to get the whole thing worked out. A week may not be soon enough, but... Within within a week or two or three, uh, we'll, get, we'll have a little bit more depth. As soon as we possibly can, we'll let you know. Um, as soon let's as we see. Can. That's, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, and uh, so I'm going to reference back when I'm doing my part. I'm going to reference back some some videos to um, to check out on our uh, on our newsletters. Um, uh, gosh, there was something else, um, man. Something else, but I'm you went just blank. Holy moly. Yeah, I went blank. I was well, I, I, have, I have some information for him when I come back. I have some new information for him. So okay, maybe that's what you're. Thinking oh, of. you know what? It has to do with the website makerwoodsign.com. It looks like we're finally getting that kind of lined out. So, um, but if you premium members have problems with your discount code. Uh, let me know if it somehow isn't working. Call us or, or write me an email and uh, and we can do that. The same thing on your password. If you go on to order on makerwoodsign.com, if your password is not working, I have the availability to go in there and, and change the password. I didn't know I could do that, but I can change the password and then I'll email it to you and that should be able to. We have one of our guys that I did that and it worked out good. All right, so uh, anything else? No, I I'll I'll come back later on and, and right. tell tell about something new. And, All right, uh, get out of the way so I can do my my thing. Your uh, exit that well, way. I, I exit to your right. Yeah, I'll I'll move, but I gotta move slow. You know, well, I'm, I didn't I'm say you had to go quick. <laughs> All right. Okay. So. All right. So what we, what I am gonna do this morning, boys and girls. I have a, a big sign, and this this one um, is going to be directed mostly toward you guys that are maybe interested in commercial signs um, or ranch signs, but bigger signs. So this is a this is a board that uh, just basically just came off of the clamps, um, and I've got uh, actually from one customer I've got four of these. Uh, that I've got to do, but I wanted to show you uh, a little bit, and I can't remember. I looked, but I can't remember whether I uh, 
whether I've showed this little hand plane before. Yeah. That, Dad says he thinks I have, but I looked for it this morning and I couldn't find it. Are you are you down on the board right now, babe? Okay, so anyway, I want to show that, but I want to show you the process that I go through from just taking the board off the clamps. Now, I have cut it to length. It's 64 inches long, uh, but other than that, I haven't touched it. It's right off the clamps. This is What's the made of? This is the Gorilla Glue, and this is Redwood, 2 by Redwood. Um, this is the back side. The front side has a little bit more red, but it has some white in there. So I am going to show you exactly how I go about surfacing down my board. Now, how I laminated it, you can go back and watch number 75 and 76, and that's how I... Um, uh, that will show you, what, and I did actually here in the studio, how I clamp these boards up and how I laminate them. But many of you may already know that, but if you don't, check out 75 and 76. And video 75. And yeah, in the newsletters playlist. So, there, you know, when you go to the playlist, look in the newsletters playlist. And uh, newsletter number 75 and 76, I show you how to laminate these boards up with that Gorilla Glue. All right, so what the first thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to use this hand plane first because it's too it's too bumpy there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take those bumps down with my uh, my 50 uh, grit uh, belt here. Do we have? Uh, can you tell if people are chiming in? Yeah. Or am I speaking just to the no, universe? We got 28 viewers. Oh, cool. All right, you guys. So this is going to be a little bit loud, uh, but just hang with me. So maybe you can just follow me, babe. However, this uh, however works out. Actually, it's a really nice match. It's not much of a mis mismatch. So the plane, um, you know, I could probably get by without even using the hand plane, but I'm going to use it anyway to give you guys an idea. So now I'll just kind of smooth sand the other side a little bit. I really like this, uh, the Gorilla Glue guys, the, the original Gorilla Glue, is that it expands. So if there are any little uh, little gaps in there, generally that Gorilla Glue will, um, will fill those gaps. All right, so now I'm going to take my little hand plane, my little electric, and I've got it set for, uh, looks like, 564. It's just a little bit, and I'm gonna, just going to... It's a long stretch on that plane, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway, so hopefully you can follow me there, babe. Oh, by the way, this thing really kicks out the sawdust. I don't have the bag on it, so Dad, watch your eyes, because you may get chips right in your eyes. There. <laughs> Obviously, guys, we got a little bit of a technical difficulty, but we're working on it, so stay with me. Hopefully that thing is not on. It shouldn't be. Let's see if that works. Okay. Alright, so here we go.
I'm sorry, babe. Got some sawdust on you, huh? Okay, so now, um, you can see there's a little bit of ridges. Actually, it's not too bad. From here, I could take that down a little bit more, but I really don't need to. So from there, I'm just, I'll just take the same sanding, uh, the sander that I used before, and I'll just sand it down. But there's really not very many ridges. It came out actually really good. <laughs> I don't know that should. Maybe our little... Uh... This is the surface. Hold on. Before yeah. uh, he goes any further, is anybody else having a problem with a blank screen? You might have to go back, go out and come back in if it's a blank screen. Some have, some aren't. Really? Yeah. Huh. So. A blank screen. <coughs> Something to do with Facebook, I guess. <coughs> <coughs> you can kick that door open if you want, Dad. Go out, Charlie. All right, so what I've got here, I'm going to kind of ad-lib this. What I've got here, I've got a little bit of piece here that uh, if I was to, if that didn't come out in carving, which it probably won't, uh, depending on the layout, is a little bit down a little bit more. So I'm going to have to plane this thing again. I apologize. <laughs> but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go right down the center. I think I can just take one swipe down the center and be just fine. Now, didn't quite get it all, but it got a lot of it. So I'm going to live with that. Hopefully I can do my layout to where it, uh, where that comes out in the background. planer, uh, you know, like a regular 12-inch planer or something like that, a DeWalt or whatever, this may be just, uh, you know, not necessary, but those of you that may not have enough room, um, you may be in limited space, or you don't have a planer, um, that little hand plane, that little, uh, what is Bosch hand plane, I don't know, I think they're about 100 bucks, so they're really not that expensive, but that gives me a good surface. Now what, I'll, what I can do, I think I'm going to hold off on doing the back. You're at 15 minutes. We're at 15 minutes? Well, then let's do the back because we don't have time. So this is the back of the sign, pretty much the same, uh, the same situation. So let me, let's go ahead and plane that. Sorry. <laughs> it's a lot of sawdust. I should have put the bag on there, you guys. So anyway, here we go.
should have forewarned me before this. Huh? should have forewarned me before. I did. You don't remember me warning you? <clears throat> no. About all the sawdust? Well, yeah. Oh, now you remember. <laughs> about hat working with this uh, two inch two inch material is there's plenty of material there in case you have to take off some extra and, and especially if you're using a planer a regular <coughs> planer but if you're not <coughs> you still got plenty of room to uh, to take off that material now you can see from the time that I took it off the clamps yesterday I've got a few little uh, weather checks in here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna putty those up and you guys know that I use uh, I use three different types of or colors of putty the golden oak the natural and the walnut just depending on where I'm gonna put it uh, can you see that babe can you see that on camera yeah and this is that plastic wood the dap plastic wood I like this stuff I like it a lot so um, here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna grab the natural. I'm gonna go to work smell like soda. New perfume. So I'm just gonna putty that up. And I'm not I'm not too worried about it. Again, you got a lot of material, a lot of thickness of material there, so I'm just going to putty this up. I may have to go back and touch it again. So on the white there, I'm using the natural. Deborah, if you're if it's jerking, it's probably me. Uh oh, the, the picture, camera. The camera's jerking. Trying not to. And you might want to go out and come back in. Now I'm going to use the, the walnut, the darker one, because I've got a few little cracks in these knots. They're nice solid knots, but there's a few little cracks there. So I'm going to, fortunately, all my, none of my uh, putty here is dried out. And you guys know when I've talked about that before, if this putty dries out and gets clumpy on you, you just add a little acetone to it. Let it set for a while and it'll uh, soften right up. Sorry. And one more out here at the end. That should do it for that side. I think that's pretty much all. And that's the back side. So let's flip it over, see what the other side looks like. So in case you guys are wondering, this is for a, a guy over in Texas that's got a... Uh, 20 minutes. We're at 20 minutes now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, guy over in Texas, that one's kind of iffy because it's... But I think it's still going to be dark. I'm going to go dark on that one. These are all pretty much dark spots. So I'll use the... the what is this? The walnut? Yeah. All right. They just asked if you could show the can on camera again. Sure. Yeah, it's, well, here. Okay, don't. Because the, the way they do this don't. is they open it, you open it from the bottom. Okay. Got it? Yeah, I think so. It's called plastic wood made by Dab. It's good stuff. I really like it. All right. I think that's it. I think that's all of my, all my fill. So... 
close these back up. Where do you buy the two inch redwood? I get it at Lowe's. Uh, Alright, we're all closed. Alright, so here's what we're going to do now. Anyway, so this guy, uh, this is for a, a guy down in Texas. So what we have here is, uh, now this is the front of my sign. So what we have here is six inch western letters. Oh my gosh, Dad, would you go get my, I forgot what this is supposed to say. I think it's uh, Darden Road, but I can't remember if it's 69 or 96. The oh, layout. Lay it out. You want to spray it? Yeah. Oh. Heck yeah, I'm going to spray it. So it's on my desk there. Thank you. So um, anyway, so this guy bought uh, bought a series of four different signs that he's put across the back of his house. I think it's Darden Road. Normally I would wait until this putty dries a little bit better, guys, but since we're kind of close on time, Are you still using the original Gorilla Glue or are you using white wood? Gorilla no, I'm using the original Gorilla Glue. The one where you have to kind of wet it first. Uh, wet the edges first. The same stuff I used on uh, on that 75 and 76. The original. The video 75 and 76? Yeah, the video newsletter number 75 and 76. So here I'm going to, doing some layout guys, I'm just going to draw my line. Buddy on my A there. Mac McCune. Hmm? Yeah, Alvin McCune. Mac is watching? Hey, Mac! My buddy. Best man at my wedding. So he's known me for eons. Yeah. Yeah. You were the McCune. best man at his wedding, oh. too. Yeah, I was. 69. Can you hand me the uh, 69? 69? The yardstick, please, Dad. What do you want? The yardstick. Oh. 69 Darden Road, right? Yep, that's right. All right. So McCune is online with us. All right. Again, normally, guys, this putty would all be dry before I before I do this layout. So I'm just kind of rolling with it here. It dries pretty quick, but not quite that quick. That's all right. It, it'll work out just fine. All right, so, 69, you said, right, Dad? Yeah. I, I won't mention how I... Uh, 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 careful, yeah, yeah. careful. <laughs> Gosh. Yeah. yeah, I knew something didn't look right. Thank you. How long does it take for the plastic wood to dry? Uh, it only takes about 10-15 minutes, honestly. Then, it, then you can sand it. So what I'm going to do here, folks, is I'm just going to... I'm going to go about... Eh, looks like about two inches. These are going to be outset letters. So i got to give myself a little bit more room to get around them. You're moving way too fast. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll slow down. Should have dad do this. He moves slower than I do. <laughs> <I'll smack him. laughs> Alright, how are we doing on time? We have 25 and a half minutes. Oh shoot, me means we only got four minutes before we lose our lose our signal. Oh, Max says we think the same, Mr. Dave. Jonathan Art says I'll Dave, you're the man. All right, so about two and a half inches there. Let's say about two and a half inches there in between the, the words. I'm still moving too fast, yes, huh? Yes, you are. I heard you, I heard you exhale there. And you're giving me the stink eye, I'm sure, but I'm not, not looking up. Ah, I need a little bit more room. I'm trying to rush this in. So, here's the deal, guys. Uh, we will make sure that's right side up. If we lose you, come right back on. Because we'll just be continuing on.
with our uh, broadcast on the second half. Uh, looks about right. About three, three and a quarter. And about three. All right, Dad, what do you think? You're my, uh, is that about right? I didn't put my paper down. The, letter, I? the letters could be a little bit closer together. That's the nice thing about them. Uh, they're big letters. They could be a little closer together, but that's, uh, all in all, you got it laid out pretty good, son. Somebody, somebody must have taught you the right way to do it. I think they're going to talk about the size of the wood, of the custom letters uh, when Dave comes in, guys. So uh, yeah, hold on. Yeah. Well, you got a question about the size mm -hmm. of the letters? So. Size and sale, if you're selling. Yeah, these are these are six inch. So where are we at time wise? You got a minute and a half. A minute and a half. All right. Well, I'm just going to have to spray this thing the way it is. Do you yeah. want to move the square for me, Dad? Maybe, maybe I should carve this thing. I don't carve this thing. You move it or you want me to yes, get it off? Yes, move it, please. Get it off the bench. Oh, my gosh. <coughs> oh. Uh. So now, just spray in here. And again, I do this in short spurts. This is not the way Dad does it. He does it and keeps it moving. He likes to puddle the, the, and this is, by the way, you can use this or the ink, either one. There he is. I know we're going to get cut off here any second. So as soon as we get cut off, I'll stop spraying, and then when we come back on, I'll finish it up. But you guys can at least see kind of what I'm doing here. Moving slow enough now, Ben? Mm -hmm. All right, good. I normally, uh, I should have the layout in front of me right now, reading it as I, before I spray all these. But I'm assuming that Dad uh, is not. I will definitely check it before I start carving. But we won't be carving on camera. All right, we're still on? Yeah, I okay. was a little off on my time. I was trying to help you get Oh, you going. were. You're tr oh, I see. Okay. Trying to play me. I gotcha. All right, so there is there is the layout of our sign. I'm going to go ahead and take these off since we got time. When we come back on, actually, uh, my part will be done. Dad will be in front of the camera. Do his part, and then we'll go into Q and A. And if you guys have any questions, we'll just we'll turn that around now so they can see what it looks like. Quickly, try to it up. Quickly, like that. Quickly, 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 like that. So these are gonna be outset letters. Uh, gosh, I Three, these will be rounded. Two, oh, one. Okay, so. Okay, guys, so we only had a, a little delay there. I'm going to get out of the way and let Dad come over and talk about his part. You're up, Dad. Aren't you going to be over here with me? I'll come back in for the Q&A. Okay. They don't want to see me anymore. They want to just see me. Watch out for the other side. That was me. <laughs> Sorry. I just get the stick guy on that. Okay, we're on camera. I just, uh, I have a couple of little things. Number one, these uh, layout letter sets. Uh, Rick or Eric already told you about them, I think, on a Q&A. But we now have them available in sets so that you don't have to buy the complete starter pack, two of each. These is one of each with an extra A, E, I, O, and U. And then... The letters that he used on this sign, the six-inch letters, we had a lot of requests for making the bigger letters. So rather than make them individually to order, we can do that. You can buy whatever you want. For you, you could buy just the letters to, to make the sign that you want to make. But uh, we decided that we should make these in sets, the same as the smaller letters come in sets. So you can now get them in... 3 inch, 4 inch, 5 inch, or 6 inch in either the Clarendon 
or the Western letters. So they now come in sets. So that's one of each in the set, each letter and each number, and an extra A, E, I, O, and U. Now that's a set. That's the same thing as we do in the one, the inch and a half, and the two inch. So there, I just wanted to let you know they're available now in sets. Uh, they're available on the website, so if you want to know the price, just go on makeawoodsign.com. You can see the price of them. You save a substantial amount, about 20% if you buy the set over buying them individually, but you can, you can certainly order them individually if you want to. So that's, uh, that's all, the, uh, all the news that I had as far as, you know, something new that uh, we've had requests for and just uh, wanted to let you know that they're now available for you. So. All right, so I'll come over and we'll start come on over, son, and we'll do some <coughs> question and answer stuff. Yeah, so if you guys have questions on this, um, again, these this was put together pretty primarily for people that are interested in doing the bigger signs, commercial or ranch signs, that kind of thing. Um, and the dog wants to come in, but... She looks like she got bit by something. Oh, really? Probably the other dog, uh, or the hogs. Um, so that's really what this was designed for, for uh, commercial stuff. And I know, that, you know, you may be going after just the small stuff. And again, if you have a big commercial uh, job that takes, uh, is going to take, you know, bigger letters, you can buy them individually. But if you want to buy the set, it'll save you about 20%. By buying One thing about it, too, is the sets are available only in the Clarendon and the Western letters. If you want a different font, then they have to be ordered individually. I'm not going to make up sets in different fonts simply because we don't get that many calls for them. But if you have a font, the special font or a different font that you need for a sign, I'll make the letters, but they don't come in sets. The only the only thing in the set of the Western letter that we have and the Clarendon letter. What's that? That that, that is for now um, until we uh, until we expand our our fonts. All right, we're they're coming in faster than I can read them. So all right, so uh, let's see. What do we got? Uh, okay, everybody's here. Let's see. <laughs> Great to see the masters on the video. My hats off to you, sir. That's from Alvin. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Larry Alan. Scudder says, first time off of work to see live. So excited. Thanks, Larry. Uh, you guys are great. Uh, from Illinois, Clay, glad to be here. Uh, two master sign makers. Um, Kent Kogan says, I'll be ordering the Western Letter starter pack shortly. Frank Jenkins, what cool. is the maximum width you will laminate together at one time? Um, generally, I, I don't like to do more than four boards. So these were two by sixes. Uh, this was only two boards. I would have done a, a third one, but they, they only wanted 10 inches wide. So this is about 10 and a half, something like that. So generally, I won't go more than four boards just because it gets kind of tricky. And I think that's what I did back on 75 and 76. Uh, I don't like more than four boards. If, it's, if it ends up being more than four boards, then I'll just uh, take it and add on to it the, the following day or something. Give it a day, right. day Mike drive. Bellabon says, not working too good. You might want to try something else. Keep Keeps cutting out. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, Mike. Uh, John Moore, I'd like to see how you carve a large letter. Okay. Another, another one. Okay. Um, you did that on another video, didn't you? Yeah, I did that. I did that big sign in the time lapse. Right. And I carved right. big signs. Yeah. I looked bigger, for the, bigger letters than this. Yeah. Um, God, I can't remember what video it is. But go to the new, go to, um, and who said that? John Moore? Uh, yeah, I think it was John Moore. John, go to the newsletters playlist and then scroll through there and you'll see a big one that said Hansen's and it had some mushrooms and stuff on it and that was a bigger one and, and you can definitely see me carving some big letters there alright Walter Christensen says Wally. what? Walt Wally. Wally whatever I'm glad you did a demo on using the portable planer I've done a couple of large signs in the portable cor corner works great okay the thing about the planer too, guys, is I, and I found this out the hard way, when you get to the end of the board, it's really easy for it to dip here, and you'll have, uh, you'll get a little, a little dip. So when you get to the end of the board, kind of lift up on it a little bit. I kind of lift up on like this, otherwise you end up with a groove at the end of your board. 
Okay. Something uh, I learned the hard way. Mike Fellabom, uh, where do you get your diamond wheels and what grit? Um, the, for sharpening the carbide tools. Uh, we use... Use a, use a fine grit and U.S. diamond is where we buy them. Send me an email uh, and I'll, uh, I'll send you a... I'll send you a a name and address. A link to uh, it, yeah. Uh, well, if not, you, if not a link, then I'll, I'll send you, uh, uh, where to I'll go. answer your question. Yeah, so <laughs> either, either send me a, an email or dad, uh, Mike, and we'll uh, we'll get you that information. All right. Uh, Frank Jenkins, do you use tails for the glue-up? Oh, C calls. Uh, C-A-E. Uh, you know, I, I do use calls if it turns out I have a lot of mismatch uh, out in the center, but for this one, it matched up really well. I try to pick boards. When, I, when I'm when i picking my boards out, I try to pick boards that are really straight, so I don't have to. Most of the time, I don't. But if I had three or four different uh, boards that I'm putting together at a time, uh, yeah, I will use calls, and then I'll... Uh, um, I'll cover them with packing tape, which is a tip I got from somebody else. Watch, um, it, watch his hands. He couldn't talk if he didn't have hands. Yeah. I couldn't back slap somebody without yeah. hands. Okay, either. all right, boys. Uh, Jonathan Epps, out east, it's hard to get redwood. Have you used Douglas fir? <coughs> you can use fir. It's uh, it's tough. It, it's stringy. You can use you can use any wood. You can use a basswood. Uh, is uh, I would use basswood if if I could get it over Douglas fir. Uh, Douglas fir, you can put it together into a board, but it's, it's <coughs> difficult to carve. You it have, is. You have yeah. to be you have to be real careful with it. It has a it has a tendency. Your rider has a tendency to jump through the grain. Uh, it's hard to hold a straight line with it unless you're really, really careful. But you, you can use dove fur. But if you can't, you know, if you can't get red one, try to get cedar. Uh, Western red cedar, if you can get it. But cedar and cedar is available in a lot of different places. Uh, I I've tried dug fur once or twice. But I think most dug fur that, at least out here in the West, is construction grade. It's made for construction. And so it becomes pretty, it's kind of difficult to carve. Most of the time, the, the moisture content is very high on it. So you'd have to dry it out. But um, I, it, it can be done, but it, it's not, it would, definitely wouldn't be on my top 10 list. No. All right. Jonathan Epps says, if you laminate four boards, do you... Batten, batten, or back? Do you use battens or backer? Uh, on this two-inch redwood, I, I no, I don't use any backer at all. Uh, battens, I can't even remember what that. What is a batten? I'm not sure. <laughs> so, something that'll hold them together and flat. But yeah. uh, we don't. Uh, don't even know what a batten yeah, is. We, yeah, we try not to use wood that has, uh, uh, you know, a lot of cups or a lot of a uh, lot of waves in it so we don't use those yeah and and the only time i really use backer is when i'm using um that uh, panel board uh and that stuff's only three quarters of an inch thick yeah, and uh, we use that we use like half inch or three quarter inch plywood to back the thing uh, and use a lot of screws to hold it just to keep it from cupping when it's done. And not only that, keep it from delaminating because that uh, I don't trust anybody else's laminations but mine. So if I buy a laminated board like that panel board, and you can see that uh, um, actually uh, the video is right around the 75, 76, 77, may, it may be 77 where I do a sandwich laminate where I put backer on the board. Uh, but anyway, that panel board I get from Lowe's, I'll always put backer on that. I, and lately I've been either five-eighths or three-quarter. Half inch isn't quite enough for me. It just doesn't. All right, that, guys, any more questions? I haven't got any questions. Uh, I don't think anybody wants to talk to you, boys. <laughs> I guess we're answering our questions. Answering everybody's questions. I can't questions. think of anything. Uh, anything, anything else we want to throw yeah, in there? Any new information uh, about what we're doing or what we're trying. Uh, um, Frank Jenkins says, I like the Facebook videos better than the first few LTS videos. He likes them better? Yeah. Oh. Well, thank you, Some Frank. Some people are having problems with black screens. I think it's either their connection or uh, their servers or something. But I really got a lot of people saying they're everything's fine. Any news about the seminar? 
Okay, well, we talked about that a little bit ago. Uh, the seminar will have news, like Dad said, sometime in the next few weeks we'll have <laughs> news whether it's going to happen. And we are we are getting uh, some really good response. Um, we still haven't made up our mind. We've got a, a few things to check <laughs> out and details to take care of before, we're, we'll, we're, before we're we know caught, for sure. We're talking to and negotiating for a place in Las Vegas in order to hold it. Uh, we, we yeah. have to go over and, and have a face-to-face -face meeting with the people. Uh, yeah. And that'll happen within the next week or so. So, so it uh, looks like we're getting really good response. That it, it, it It's looking really good right now, guys. All right. Uh, Michael Caruso says, I've been watching you with baby Charlie, our future sign carver. <laughs> Hi, baby hey, Charlie. Mike, calling from, uh, or he's viewing from Canada. Um, Mike from that okay. Buddy. Frank Jenkins, add me to the list of interested but not sure I can make it to Vegas. Okay. Mike Fillabon, how much to cut out my new DeWalt 611 base? Okay, the uh, the base... Uh, the housing? Uh, the housing, yeah, the housing. That's just 25 bucks. If you want to send the housing, Dad does it. He's got a jig all set up for it on the drill press, and we're getting more and more requests for that. So uh, it's just the housing on your DeWalt or... Um, uh, or the Porter Cable 450, it's just uh, 25 bucks. that's yeah, what you charge, right? right? Yeah, right. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some of those, uh, just the housings. I'm going to have oh, maybe half a dozen of them already modified. And then you can just send me one, and I'll send you one back that I've already done. Yeah. So We've talked about that before. Yeah, we've it, talked about that, that before. That way it'll, so. it'll kind of save that. All right, Jonathan Epps says, I see a lot of people using birch ply. Have you guys used plywoods? Uh, to carve, the, I use plywood for backer, but to actually carve a sign out of plywood, I haven't done it uh, in decades uh, because of the, the some major issues that I've found. Now, this might be different with the new plywoods. I don't know. But in the old days when we carved plywood, we had two big issues. Number one, the glues in the plywood tear the heck out of your bits. Just, I mean, you'll end up, after you carve for... 10, 15 minutes, I'd look at my router bit and there'd be huge grooves in there. That's number one. And whether that's the glues or maybe some sand or something in there. And number two, if there's voids, if you look at a piece of plywood and you look at the edge, if there happens to be voids in the wrong spot, like an outset letter or in the wrong spot, a whole you could lose a whole letter and then you've got a lot of repair stuff. So I try and stay away from plywoods. I haven't carved it in, gosh, 25, 30 they years. Used, they used to make redwood plywood, which was uh, pretty good. It was it was rough, but it made pretty good signs. But they don't even make redwood plywood anymore. So. Yeah. And it, and it uh, again, those are the two big issues that I found with plywood. The voids and the fact that the glues... Um, just tear the heck out of your bits. I mean, they you just... might you might get by with marine plywood now. Marine plywood is nice and solid. You don't uh, you don't have any voids or, or anything in there. It does have tough glue in there. But if you're going to carve a sign out of plywood, use uh, try to get marine plywood. Marine grade plywood is solid, no voids. So yeah, give it a give it a shot. I mean, uh, but I would I would definitely before you. You cut a sign, and this is a general rule, before you use anything that you haven't used before, test it out before you do it on a customer sign, definitely. So get some scrap and test it out and really pay attention after, you know, I wouldn't route more than a few minutes and then inspect your router bit and make sure that uh, your expensive router <laughs> bit isn't getting chewed up. Kent Kogan says we have red oak ply here along with birch. Red oak ply? Red oak ply, we use that all the time, but we don't carve signs out of it. We make wooden letters and numbers out of it. That's the other half of our business. So, um, so yeah, you can give it a shot. The, the other issue with plywood that you have to be careful of, I forgot the third issue, <coughs> is that it, it depends on how thick that, that top veneer is. You, you might sand through that top veneer, and then all of a sudden, you know, you've got grain running this way, and if you sand too deep, on that top veneer, now you've got grain running this way, and it looks kind of goofy. So you have to be careful that that you don't sand through that top veneer. De That's the third issue on it. Deborah. 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 Starts with an O. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Starts so with an O. I have to catch this on YouTube. I guess she's jerk the one that's got the jerky screen. I'm sorry, Deborah. Frank Jenkins. I found the acrylic paints that I used to paint with a brush have been seeping into the cedar fence pickets over the time. 
Should I coat the carved portion with sanding sealer before I paint it? Okay, Frank, uh, are you putting, here's the way, and that's a good question. Are you putting a finish on it before you paint your colors? Uh, the reason I say that is because that when I do paint colors, which isn't very often, I almost always put a finish on it. So it's got two or three or four coats. He's not. He's not. That's why. So always put your color on on top of your finish. That will keep it from bleeding into the grain of the board. So, you know, if you're using cedar or redwood or, or the, the pine is the only time I use sanding sealer. And sand, pine. sanding sealer is really intended to keep whatever you're putting on, whether it's ink or, or whatever, from soaking into the grain. Now, and if you're coloring the letters, you don't need sanding sealer underneath it. Obviously, if, if, you, if you're putting the color on the letters, let it soak in. So I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put sanding sealer on under the color. Uh, but I, like Rick said, I would uh, I would put a finish on and then put your color on over the finish. Yeah, I'm Rick, by the way. Uh, yeah. You guys all know me as Eric, but Dad's always called me Rick. I, I, or, I still can't do Eric. And my sisters Rick. call me Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> and very few friends. Okay, uh, Jerry Jerry Cartwright <laughs> said I found out I found out that the cypress fence boards work great. Carved really good and look good with a clear finish. Pitch to come soon. That's good. You know, I've, I've heard I've heard a lot of good things about Cypress. We don't have it out here. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's predominantly in the south, but uh, I've heard a lot of good things about and it. That's same did, with me. We yeah. just never had it to try. Yeah, we just it's just not available. Send, for send us. us a piece. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Jonathan F says paint pens work too. Yeah. Uh, Jason Pena. Just so you know, Eric, I'm watching this with the sound down while at a school function with the kids. <laughs> Can't hear a word you're saying. How's that for dedication? <laughs> oh, that's so so cool, Jason. <laughs> You'll be able to go back on later and yeah. watch it and listen, listen with the volume up. <laughs> okay, uh, Dana Allison, have you carved Scott, Scott's Pine? I have a lot of that on my property. Scott's Pine? I don't, there's so many different varieties of pine. There's like a thousand of them. I don't know if I've ever carved Scott's pine. Um, probably not, because if it's not available out here in the I used to go West, camping and I drank scotch in the pines, but uh, not scotch. Jerry Cartwright said he'll send you a piece. Cool. Thank you, Jerry. Yeah, I'd love to, I'd love to try the cypress. I'd love to try it right. because it, uh, it looks, uh, I hear real good <clears> things about it. Okay, no more questions right now, so let's wrap it up. Okay, all, all right. right. So, um, thank you for watching, guys. It's fun. As always, it's been fun. Um, Coffee and Questions will start again on Monday. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some some news. Uh, Dad and I, actually, this afternoon, we're going over to a woodworking show. Um, going back to Phoenix again. Yeah, do a little recon. Max says... Uh, I, he says, LOL, I am Mac only. Vic can get away with Alvin. Alvin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. Um, he is Mac. <laughs> uh, Eric, Steve Heights. Hey, Steve. Says, uh, have you been thinking about drawing names once a month? Well, I'm um, giving it some... Uh, What's that giving us some thought. Well, I think that I, I, Steve's either referring to um, giveaways where we might have... Uh, a giveaway, uh, uh, and specifically maybe my 10 signed books from Gary Vaynerchuk. You know, he does love me. Yes. Anyway, he said it. I, I saw he said it. Oh I love him. Gosh. I love this guy. Anyway, um, I, I'm considering that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. All I'm right. not saying yes, not saying no. All right. Any last comments? Um, I have to go blow all the sawdust off me before I go to before work. Before you go to work. <laughs> okay. So, uh, gosh, I guess that's it. Yeah, I don't have anything to add. Yeah, we're going to uh, be running off to the uh, woodworking show this afternoon and uh, see if we find any new stuff to share with I you gotta guys. i get, got to get back to my computer and get some business done. Yeah, we got to ship some stuff. So uh, thanks for joining us, guys. I'll try and get this on YouTube this weekend. So, Jason, uh, if you can't read my lips, then uh, <laughs> you'll be able to see it on YouTube, but you can watch a replay on Facebook, too. So, again, thanks, guys. Appreciate all the shares and all the likes. Uh, share the heck out of it. We need uh, we need more audience so we can uh, frustrate Vic with more questions. So um, thanks, guys. I guess that's it. We'll I sign off.
We'll All sign right. off. You guys have a great day. Everybody have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Bye. Bye. Bye.